Are you physically fit and like working with your hands? Do you have good eyesight, attention to detail, and a knack for geometry? Are you a team player? If you measure up, you might want to lay the groundwork for a career as a floor covering installer. Floor covering installers install, repair, and replace floor covering materials in businesses and homes. Some of these materials include carpet, vinyl and linoleum sheet goods, pre-finished hardwood, and tile. They may even install these materials onto some wall surfaces. To help us inspect this occupation from the ground up, we met with a floor covering installer working in Alberta. Hello, my name is Lynn and I'm a floor covering installer. A floor covering installer is someone that comes into a space, can remove the flooring that's existing, but mainly we come in and put brand new flooring in. I became a floor covering installer because I like to see the transformation in a room. I like to see it go from something old to something new, and that just, uh, that honestly just completes me at the end of the day. Typical day at work, I show up, make sure everything's on site for material wise. Then I need to potentially prep the floor and then I spread some glue and then install the product. It always is very different depending on the product I'm installing. The length of time that I spend on a job really just depends on the flooring that I'm installing and the amount of flooring that I have to install. For PPE, uh, most construction sites it's all the same, steel toes, hard hat, safety glasses, depending on the task at hand. Some job sites require you to wear it the entire time you're on site. Some of our duties and responsibilities would be working from blueprints, cutting material, making sure you have all the material on site, communicating with the trades. We lay down foam for carpet areas and sometimes that's stapled or it's glued down depending on what's required. We will also remove baseboard and replace it. We also have to communicate with the customer or the client, depending on who we're talking with, and make sure that they're happy with the product that we've brought them. There's some things that we have to move around that are extremely heavy. Marmoleum rolls can come up to like 550 pounds. So you really have to work together as a team. You also need very good time management skills and to be really well organized, otherwise things will definitely go awry very quickly. You also have to have good stamina, strength, really enjoy working with your hands, and just being good with people in the end. The tools and equipment that I need for my job really depends on the type of flooring I'm installing at the end of the day. My main things that I have is obviously my knife, a uh, tape measure, a pencil. A chalk line is my crucial thing, so keeping everything nice and straight and true the best that you can, because walls like to deviate. Uh, dollies are my best friends because that's how we transport a lot of goods. To work in Alberta, the floor covering installer must be one of the following. A registered apprentice or an Alberta certified journey person or someone who holds a recognized related trade certificate. Or you may work for an employer who is satisfied that you have the skills to work as a journey person or you just might be self-employed. The apprenticeship is two years, which includes seven weeks of technical training and 1,500 hours of on-the-job training each year. If someone was interested in becoming a floor covering installer, I would say to them that it is a physical job, so I feel like some days, you know, you come out of it feeling like you got a good workout, which is always fun. I personally like to have a crew where we're just having fun. I love coming into a space, seeing it kind of empty shell, and then just watching it transform into something beautiful. I mean, it's one thing watching the paint happen, but when you get the flooring in and you put the baseboards on, it really completes an area. A career as a floor covering installer gives you the chance to transform living and workspaces for your customers. It's satisfying to work with different materials and the interesting tools and equipment needed for each to improve the appearance and enjoyment of these spaces. You'll need stamina and should also have good people skills. Add in a good sense of design and geometry and job satisfaction is right at your feet. Get the layout on this occupation, including training requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile on the Alice website. While you're there, measure out some related occupations, including construction craft worker, glazier, and insulator. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.